Hey everyone, happy Friday. It's me, Zoe, and welcome to Giraffe Fun Friday, because we're going to have some fun and do some cool things on Fridays, and you're going to get a giraffe fact, so it's Giraffe Fun Fact Friday. Well, anyway, um, I hope you're all ex as excited as I am to be on YouTube instead of being on Facebook Live. I think this is going to be a lot more better, and... You can go back and see the, all the videos that we posted before. So let's get started. So today's giraffe facts is that giraffes uh, live in the sub-Saharan Africa. They live south of the Saharan desert from um, Niger all the way down to Zimbabwe and Botswana. And uh, the largest concentration of giraffes is in like uh, Central East Africa. And there are two types of giraffes. There is the Maasai giraffe, which they graze like uh, mainly in Serengeti. And then there's like the Nigerian giraffes that uh, they're mainly in like West Africa. So I think that's pretty cool. So we're going to do some adulting. And we know adulting is not fun. It's like really not fun, but we're going to do a little bit of it. And the next segment I like to call adulting. 101. Grand Week College is like wandering around in a video game without doing the tutorial first, and you're kind of just like, I don't know how anything works. So let's do a little bit of that because I've been talking to adultier adults, and it's people who have adulted longer than me, uh, but they're not quite my parents. So I've been talking with them, so we're going to learn how to adult a little bit today. I've been talking a lot with my friends on budgeting. Um, having money is like a thing that you don't have when you're like a new adult, but you should really know how to handle it when you do get some into your person. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper and a writing utensil, which I should have opened, and numbers ready to crunch in your head in a calculator because... <laughs> I'm not smart enough to calculate numbers in my own head. Oh, and a beer. So we can get through this. First things first, um, you're going to want to put down your income, and that's the money that you make after taxes and after any deductions from health care, your benefits. So I make 2200 a month. And then um, if you make any extra income, sitting or I work like a really once in a while part-time job so I'll put that there it's another 200 a month say for whatever that we have oh my god it's so good so for all intents and purposes we make 2400 a month next thing I want to do is if it helps you I'm going to change the color we're going to do our expenses <laughs> Now, the first things we're going to do are the things that I have to pay. So, that'd be like your, your rent, utilities, cell phone, etc. So, I'm just going to go to town. Okay, so if you guys can't read this, this is rent, utilities, phone, gas, grocery, gym, insurance, prescriptions, loans. These are all the things I absolutely have to pay for each month because I do. Um, so, then just plug your numbers in after that. For gas, this is your monthly, so I do it by how many times I fill up and how much it takes to fill up my car. So that's $35, 35 times 4, it's $140 strong. Grocery, I do grocery based on $40 per person, um, so that's 160 so these are the things I have to pay for. Now I have like the, the wanty thing. So that is hockey. For me, it could be your ski, snowboard, um, your gymnastics, I don't know, whatever you do. Um, so I pay $100 a month. <laughs> um, my insurance, I left it open. I pay for my insurance um, at one time throughout uh, at one point so it's cheaper <coughs> for myself so this is my car insurance 
So what I want you to do is if you do the same thing as I do, um, uh, it's a thousand dollars per year. <coughs> um, thousand dollars per year divided by 12 months. So it's about eight, three dollars a month that I will pay for. So I'm going to take all of these and add it up and then cry about it. So it's about $1,123. Okay, so if we take this cute little number and subtract it from our income, the over money you have for the month is $1,277. And if we divide that into four, it's $319. Now, this is. Um, if this all works out and I did my math right, I'm going to check my math one more time. So, uh, $1,277 left, it gives me $319 hairs a week to screw around with. Now, if, if this is what your number looks like, this is not, that is, that is not what my number looks like. My number is a lot lower. Um, you want to have at least fifty to a hundred dollars, like to screw around with, I guess. And that's kind of what I have is about fifty to a hundred that I is not a part of my budget. It's not budgeted out. I also took out for savings, which I didn't put in here. But I take money out for savings. I take about forty dollars per week, so we got one hundred sixty dollars that I take out to put into my savings that I can have whenever I want to. Um, so a way to deal with all these numbers that are happening is that I do my budget weekly because I get paid weekly. So I take everything and just divide it by four and that's how much I pay for every week and it all budgets out. So then that's where you get like the 300 somewhat dollars left over. I feel like that's like a really a lot amount of money. So I'm just gonna, I'm really missing some expenses, but that's okay. Um. <coughs> So what I do is I have it automatically deduct from the paycheck. Um, the paycheck's directly deposited in my account. And then the next day, which is today, um, it disperses into a bunch of different accounts. So this is how you this is how you make a budget. Um, budgets aren't something that you're gonna stick to. It's really hard to like stick on your budget. And the numbers aren't always perfect. So always like round up when you're budgeting. And hopefully this will help you like control your money a little bit better. See where it's going. So you're not like wasting a bunch of money at the bar. You can throw that in here as one of your expenses if you want to and put money aside every week to go out with. I hope you guys like it. Um, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm going to put out a new video every Friday. Um, maybe Saturday sometimes when if something happens. And you'll see a little bit of Tuca in the videos. So that's it. Um, so I guess have a good freaking Friday. Bye.